All right, this is my newest. So this is an awesome story. Um, I have now kitbashed all BBI helicopters. So the Black Hawk, the Little Bird, uh, and now this, uh, and then all 21st century helicopters, the Huey, um, the Cobra, and I made it into a Venom. And um, so I went to uh, Goodwill the other day and just happened to find this in the toy aisle. And I was very excited about it. I uh, got it for 12 bucks. Uh, it was missing a ton of parts. It was missing the skids, and then I looked through the, the aisle there and found the skids, so that's great. So basically, because it was missing so many parts, I just decided to make it my own and kitbash it. And it turned out really great. It's an excellent little helicopter. It's very high detail. I really like what they did with it. Um, wish they still made stuff like this, but I don't think they do. So anyway, I painted it black. I left the United States Army on it because uh, I thought that looked pretty good. But I added a whole bunch of stickers, some paint, painted it black. I created this gun for it. Go ahead and zoom over here real quick. So uh, this is from a G.I. Joe Humvee. And that little bullet box is 3D printed with a cover on it. And then put my little uh, modified action figures in there. Uh, because I only had one door, so I just took both doors off. But um, I wanted to cover up the hinges, and so I put uh, a weapon holder, which is actually a little Lego, in there. And then I painted this gun here so that it looks really nice. And um, so the idea is that they can shoot zombies from the helicopter. Because my guys only shoot zombies. And so, not real humans. I'm a peacenik. And then there's a little uh, mask on the dashboard. I was thinking about putting something else there. Maybe I will eventually. And this is actually a little wooden dowel that connects to the spotlight. And it's actually just held on by pressure. It's not glued or screwed. And I didn't like the way it looked, so I added a whole bunch of stickers to it. And I like the way it looks now. And then I added on these... Um, here, so the black part is a Lego tube, and then inside it is an exhaust pipe from a plastic um, model, and then strapped around it is a zip tie around a wire, because I tried to make it look as much like the original as possible. And it had a lot of detail similar to that. This guy has a little sniper rifle for shooting zombies on his side. A couple little missiles, I don't know where I got those. And, uh, I, uh, Covered up the insignia with a little skull with some muskets behind it, and I covered it with a little bat. And put on some little lights, which are stickers. And yeah, the detail level on this helicopter is incredible. If you look inside, they've put a uh, dashboard on it that looks really incredible. I think it's just a sticker, but it looks so realistic, it's incredible. BBI did some really good things. Although Elite Force, other than the figures, a lot of the vehicles don't have a lot of the detail level that this that these do. They don't even some of them don't even have windows, which is dumb. Uh, it was missing the tail, and so this is a tail that I found in my model pieces and glued together and stuck on with the Lego that actually comes off. Uh, and these tails are from a World Peacekeeper helicopter. And those turned out really good because it only had one of the tails and I wanted to make them more dramatic. And then if you bend the blades first, because if you don't, it won't work, then this spins really nicely. Oops. <laughs> well, maybe not. So we'll spin it up really good. And then that one. So yeah, really impressive helicopter. Very happy with it. And thank you very much for watching. I'll do one more top view. Oh, and then let you see the bottom just so you can see the whole thing. Here we go. All right. And thanks for watching.